I've got something pretty fun and kind of crazy. I found these Absolute Memorabilia 2021 NBA cards resealed at a local Dollar Tree. They were $4.50 a pack, and now we're going to open them to see just how much value is in these packs and if it's better to sell them as sealed, resealed packs or sell the cards as singles on eBay. Now, right now, uh, October 7th, <laughs> 2021, uh, the the street value, the market value on eBay is about $10 for one of these. We have a pack, and then we've got, if you can tell, about two cards uh, on the bottom on the side. There's randomly inserted memorabilia cards in there, right? That's uh, supposedly, you know an upsell but in reality they're not worth much at all uh but the 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 street value the market value what they sell for is about 10 per pack and that's including shipping sometimes more sometimes less but generally around there so i have nine of them that's 90 bucks uh, i'd be making about 30 bucks profit probably i'm not gonna do the math but that's the general idea when i open these up i have to sell probably four cards out of the five card pack at at least 295 to come close and beat by a little bit, I think, uh, what I'd sell these for as cards. Now, certainly, it takes more time to list them individually, uh, and I wouldn't recommend doing this unless it's your hobby like it's, like it's my hobby, but I think this information is useful, and we might get extremely lucky and find some great, like, Lamello rookies that sell for 20 or 40 bucks, or even some very rare autographs, uh, because they are potentially in here. Okay, so here are all of the cards, and right away, if you look at these, you can see that the cards in there, uh, they're pretty, they're, there's two jersey cards, memorabilia cards, and they're fatter. Then, if you look at this, you just see, you know, skinny cards in there. So they're not lying. There are jersey cards in here, but the players are probably guys who are out of the league or just nobodies. Okay, now the fun part. Let's get to ripping. So I'm going to open up these first and save the ones that I know have jersey cards in for later. This one's kind of dinged up. I really, I don't have much faith that uh, I'm going to make money on this, but I'm extremely curious. So just two prestige 20... 16, uh, 2017 cards. Pull that pack out to the side. Throw that away. The company who makes these is MJ Holding in Bridgeview, Illinois. And I always wondered why they put the little cards in there. Like these two garbage cards. And I think it's because of, uh... Like, the same way, like, a card store can advertise, um, Tops or, or Panini or whatever on their window because they sell it there. Uh, they couldn't, like, legally put that Panini sticker on there if they weren't selling this as part of a bundle. This is, like, their little mini card store. I don't know, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, why they do that, but that is my, my best estimate. Yeah, these are, I mean, the cards we're getting <laughs> common. It says, like, game used cards, right? Like, th <laughs> there's no game. There's no game for this. No one's playing Pokemon with, with trading cards. I wonder how much they make on this. Are these, because these aren't... These are just re like risk gravity packs, so I, I bet they're paying. I mean, they must be making some money, obviously, right? Dollar Dollar General has to make money. They have to make money. Whoa! I guess I was wrong. We had more Jersey cards. That's a pretty nice one, too. Paul Gasol and Stromile Swift. Warm-ups. Pretty cool. And a Ben Simmons rookie. So that was not actually a... I mean, that wasn't that bad. Whoops. Whoops. 
a little dinged up, but whatever. Did I miss any other rookies in here? Giorgios Papagiannis. Jalen Brown. Yeah, but this, I, I guess every once in a while, maybe like one in ten is like a chase, you know, insert that they have. The big thing in these, um, in these is like the, there's yellow parallels, I think. <sighs> what am I doing? Mike Miller, game night, jersey card, and a Tim Hardaway 94 flare. What? <laughs> That's a cool card. So, um, not, you know, whatever. Good for collecting. Now these, these are the ones that I saw had like a thicker, yeah. Nick Young, <laughs> Nick Young rookie, uh, rookie threads. Dragon Bender from Croatia. So far, we've already got three memorabilia cards. Hey, Andre Drummond. I'm from I'm in Michigan, so that's cool to get Pistons guy. True Colors Prestige 1314. Dennis Schroeder, Jeff Teague. In his second season. That's pretty cool. So, I, I spent about, I guess, $45, 40 bucks. And uh, we got these, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll do the value on this card right here. We'll show the value on this card right here. We'll do the value just for fun on this card because it's a weird one. Mike Miller, kind of a two color patch. Kind of. And then we'll see if the Ben Simmons rookie is worth anything. As well as this one with uh, Pau Gasol. In their warm-ups. Pretty cool. Alright, now that that's over, let's get to the actual packs. So here are the packs. I'm going to read, it looks like we've got a 100-card uh, base set. You can see that. But no odds. This just randomly inserted yellow rookies. Oh, these are Dollar Tree cards. It says right there, Dollar Tree set. So yeah, the only thing here is, <laughs> so they're, they got them for a dollar. Uh, and so I bet they get them for a dollar, sell them for three, and then Dollar General sells them for um, four fifty. So yellow Lamello is what we're looking for. Alexi Pokoveski, Devin Booker, Josh Green, Kira Lewis. Okay. Two rookies. So if we can sell each of these cards a piece for $2.95, uh, that will make us $8 about, and that's uh, more than we'd make selling the pack individually. I am not, so I guess we can't get autos in here. I said you could. I didn't realize that these were special $1 gravity packs. The lowest of the low. Hey, Tyrese Halliburton, that's a good yellow. This card goes for like 10 bucks, I think. So, all right, we're already doing pretty good. Jared Allen, Emmanuel Quickly rookie. Ooh, pretty cool. 
Nicola. Another Halliburton rookie. Wow, another yellow Halliburton. That'll make listing easy. Isaiah Stewart, too. Anthony Edwards. Nice. This is a great pack. Getting tons of rookies. So two Halliburtons already, and Isaiah Stewart, and then Anthony Edwards. Tyrese Maxey is the yellow. Obi Toppin rookie. Zeke Najee. Damian Lillard. Malcolm Brogdon. And Tyrese Maxey. I don't think I'm going to go through the, the, the effort of listing those. Um, just like the veteran cards. Because I don't think they're worth that much. And I don't imagine many people are making sets. Unless we get like some really good guys. Cassius Stanley. Udoka as a Buki. Well, like this, I'll sell this card individually. I'll sell the Giannis individually. Vernon Carey. And then a Jordan Uwara. I sold this uh, Top Shot, his rookie first rookie Top Shot NFT for like 50 bucks. So I like that guy. I mean, this is a decent pack. Four rookies and, uh, and Giannis. So, so far, so good. I'm surprised. I I mean I haven't I haven't looked the value up yet, but I think that we might. Well, we're gonna break even for sure. We got a quickly rookie yellow, Lonzo, wrong brother. Chris Chris Stapps, Porzingis, Tyrese Maxey, Wiggins, and Emmanuel quickly yellow. You know, for four fifty, I'd say it's worth it. I'd rather buy them for a dollar, <laughs> that's for sure. But you know, it is what it is. Ben Simmons, ooh, James Wiseman, base rookie. Devin Vassell, Ja Morant, and uh, Onyeka Okun. There we go. Two more left. What I, so I guess as you'll be seeing as I go through these, we're gonna have the uh, have the values pop up. Isaiah Stewart, yellow. Go Pistons. Alexi Pokoveski, R.J. Hampton, Jaron Jackson Jr., Kevin Durant. How I saw that one individually too. And Isaiah Stewart, yellow. And our final pack. Jalen Smith, yellow. That guy again. RJ Hampton. Jaron Jackson. Kevin Durant again. And then uh, Jalen Smith. All right, there we go. So uh, we'll put the total right here, and uh, I'll let you decide. Let me know in the comments, is this worth buying? Would you buy it? Do you like this kind of stuff? Uh, as always, I really appreciate you watching. Thanks for the, uh, the thumbs up, and if you like this kind of stuff, please subscribe, and I'll see you later.